With winter firmly upon us, we're getting ever closer to tax season on Medieval Dynasty, and so we do want to start looking at ways that we can get money, but also make ourselves as productive as possible through the winter period, because last time we bought all of this clothes that you see right here, we've got the gloves and the hat and stuff like that, so we can actually survive through winter. So we want to make the most of that and actually do something with our time. One thing I want to do today is look at buying some chickens. So we're here in, well, near Piastovia, right, right there. If we go down the road to this town here called Skalki, I guess is how you say that, we can actually buy chickens from there. So you can see here, we can basically follow this road the whole way down. And there are signposts at T-junctions in this game, and you can find your way to Skalki. Now, in terms of the money, we've got almost 500 coins. That's actually going to be enough for us to get chickens. So if you're like an OG of this game, then you'll know that it used to be a lot more, like maybe, uh, I think it was like a 1,000 just to buy a chicken or something crazy like that. I'm just going to put that little marker there on the map by double left clicking, so we know we're heading roughly in the right way. But now they're a lot less. And on top of that, although the chickens themselves are less, you can also buy chicks as well, and the chicks will eventually grow up to become adult chickens and lay eggs. So we're going to do a bit of both, a bit of future-proofing almost, and I thought it would be kind of a fun thing to do. Now, I don't think I'll see too much along the way. We're going to be running mostly along the road because, well, mostly because I don't want to die. But obviously, I'll show you guys any uh, points of interest along the way. And then when we get to Skalki, I'll show you how you can buy a chicken if you're wondering how you do that. I found this cave along the way as I'm walking here. And in the previous episode, Luminous One commented and said, could I show the points of interest on the map? Which I think is a great idea for everybody. But Luminous, this one is for you. So we're on the map right now. And if we scroll in here, you can see just outside of Skalki, you've got this crossroads here. That's where we are on the map. So hopefully that's good enough that you guys can come along and find this. But there is indeed a cave here. We might have a little look inside to see if there's anything of interest while we're here. I have to say, it's pretty fun exploring caves. There's always just something about that. I think not just in this game, I just mean in any game, exploring caves is always kind of fun. Now, right here, we've got a salt deposit. So that's awesome. We could pickaxe that to get the salt. That's cool. We've got some more salt deposits up here as well. So that's cool too. Then a bit deeper in, we come to this mine shaft. This looks awesome. And I'm, there's so many different ways I could have gone. So there's so much to explore in this cave, actually. If we keep going, though, we come right the way through the other side to here. So we've got this little encampment area right here now this isn't something you can just loot right there's a chest here you'd have to actually rob them to take things so it's not like that but it is just that it looks really nice which is cool and actually i think we might be at skalki now if i go to my map let's have a look yeah we are so this connects up to the basically near the town of skalki anyway i'll do a little bit more exploring through this cave though because uh mainly because i enjoy it to be honest but also there might be some more interesting things that you guys want to see so uh, let's see if i can find anything found a copper deposit in here so we've got salt and we've got copper in here that's pretty cool oh and there's an iron deposit right here as well you have to really look out for those they blend in a little bit better, I find. But yeah, iron deposit right there. So we've got salt, we've got copper, we've got iron. I mean, this is a really good cave. And there we go, we've got tin, we've got everything now. Oh, and our torch died. <laughs> but we have tin here, that's cool. I'm thinking that a future episode could almost be dedicated to doing a lot of mining and processing of ores and stuff like that. I think it would be fun and interesting to watch potentially as well. Um, let me know what you think, guys. It wasn't my plan for today's episode. We just stumbled across this cave as we were running through. But if you would like to see that, and if you have any cave tips, then let me know. The tips I've been getting for the series have been absolutely fantastic and much appreciated. But uh, perhaps next episode we'll do that. I mean, it might be good during the winter as well. We're sort of in out of the cold a little bit. But for now, let's head back outside here. I tell you what, it's actually pretty easy to get lost in those caves. I did get lost there for a second, but here we are. We're back outside, heading into Skalki, and let's see where we get those chickens. So here's the town. This is like how you enter, just across this bridge right here. And I believe that the chickens are just up here on the left. Hey, they stole my idea. They've got a little tree in their crossroads. <laughs> this is uh, this is my idea, but. Uh, Anyway, so we turn left at that tree, we come up around here, and I think the chickens were around here somewhere. Yeah, here we go, there's chickens and stuff just here, so that's pretty much easy enough to find. I will show it on the map again, though, I'll try and get the habit of doing that a bit more often. If we zoom right in, you can take a little screenshot or pause there if you want to see exactly where it is. But while we're here, let's have a look at the prices of some of these. So there's like a hen there for 98, a rooster for 45, another hen 98, perhaps they're all the same. And you can buy chicks for just 25. Oh, 23, sorry. So we definitely want to buy a hen. Let's go ahead and buy one of those. Then we have to select the hen house and select the slot. So yep, you just go in that first slot right there. And let's see, maybe we should get a rooster as well. Then we can start making uh, our own chicks for the future, I suppose. So the rooster can go in next to the hen. I will buy a chick as well. I mean, 23, that's really awesome. This is more of a longer term purchase, of course. Uh, you'll notice, by the way, these just disappear and they will turn up in your hen house. So you need to have the hen house built before you come here. Uh, oh, another chick. We'll go ahead and we'll buy you as well. Um, oh, we get in there. That was a bad angle, but there we go. Uh, you're also going into the hen house. There we go. So hen, a rooster, two chicks. I think that'll just about do us. Do I want to buy a second hen? I mean, it's another 98. Let's do it. I, I, can, I can make this money back. I think the more we have, the better you guys are going to get a feel for how this goes if you're watching for that. Uh, and also, it's probably going to be better for us in the long run too. 
There are more, but I think we'll leave that for now. We know where to come if we need to get any more. Now, I have to say, Skalki is a really beautiful town. I've not visited it in the winter before, but this scenery all looks very different in the summer. So I think during the summer, I'll have to come back and have a little look around this town. Again, let me know in the comments. Uh, feedback is, is always appreciated. But, you know, having a little look around towns and stuff when I'm here, is that something you'd like to see more of or are you not really bothered? I managed to find this little loot area on the way home. If we open the map right now, then this is where it is, at roughly at the uh, crossroads here. And I just thought I'd do this on camera just to see what we get. Oh, honeycomb, that's a new item for us. That's pretty good. So it sells for a little bit. But uh, actually, beekeeping, if we can get into beekeeping, uh, that would be really fun. I think I'd really enjoy doing that. So I might look into, you know, how quickly in the game we can do that. Probably we're not at the stage yet, I'm just I'm guessing. But... Uh, Still, we've got some meads here as well. That's always good. Uh, what else? There's some more mead over here. And, oh, look at that. There's a small pouch right there. And does that give us anything? What's in the small pouch? Let's see. Oh, no, here it is. Small pouch. It does sell for 60. Um, but actually, it's something that we could use to increase our carry weight. So we can just drag it over to there for now. And I might sell that at some point and buy a larger one. But that's pretty cool in and of itself. Now, someone said that if I press Alt, then things would show up like loot and stuff. But I think that might be later on in the game. Something we maybe need to use a skill in order to find. But I'll gather up the rest of these mead bottles and things that are here. And we'll have a good look around. It's so easy to miss loot on these things. And I was told that I actually missed some loot in the last episode when I did one of these. But I think that's just about everything now. I'm not seeing anything else. So... Yeah, I guess we'll leave it there, but uh, still good to get those little bits. They all help out, that's for sure. Back at our little town now, and we have the hen house right here. And as you can see, everything that we've just bought is in here just chilling. And we've got a cock doodle doo doo there from the rooster. But they are minus any animal feed, and we do need to give them that pretty sharpish. Otherwise, they'll just wander off and we lose our chickens. And obviously, we don't want that. Now, long term, we can make up animal feed in here somewhere. Let me just double check this. Yeah, okay. So you can see here we need oat grains, rye grains, and we need straw. Now, the straw is obviously not going to be a problem. Neither is buying the scheme. It's only 50 coins. But we don't have yet the oat grain or the rye grain. Now, that being said, we do need to consider whether it's going to be cheaper to buy the oat grain and the rye grain and then use the wheat that we have here or just to buy animal feed. So we're going to head into town, see the price of the animal feed, weigh it up against the price of buying the ingredients and making it ourselves and i'm hoping that for now we can get enough just to get us through like a year because if we can do that then as the uh, after the year is over i should say we can then obviously grow our own rye and oat grain and then we'll be fine so let's see how we go hopefully uh we can figure this one out okay so i'm guessing this guy is going to sell everything that we need let's have a little chat with him and if we have a look here the animal feed you can see that the uh, the cost of it there is 21 coins for one animal feed. That is quite a lot. If we go down to, let's see, the oat grain is six and the rye grain is also six. So that would be 12 per one because we already have the straw. But then we also have to spend uh, 50 as well. So I still think though 12 is almost half price. It's probably going to be better for us to do that. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy the oat grain here. Um, oops, I bought one. Uh, I want to buy nine more. I'll do ten of each, I think. So there we go. Nine of those. Uh, and the rye grain. Now, actually, I'm just thinking, I didn't check, which I should have done, that it's one per one. That Like one oat grain, rye grain, and seed, or wheat or whatever, is going to make us one animal feed. Definitely should have checked that first. But hey, let's go find that out together. But hopefully, we're going to be able to make that up now, and it will get us through for like a year. But I'm not sure how quick they use it, so... We're kind of just experimenting a little bit. I like to do that a bit with games, especially when it's a Let's Play style video. I wouldn't do it in a tutorial. I'd figure it all out first, obviously, to give the better information. But sometimes I think it's nice to just explore games out for yourself a little bit and not Google everything. The uh, barn now, and it is indeed just one of the oat grain and rye grain, and it's five straw. And I realized I was mixing up the straw with the wheat. Uh, don't know how I managed to do that. My bad. But uh, straw is also pretty easy to get. Obviously, you just pick it up from the reeds. I think up in here, we might even have a load of straw already, though. Uh, yeah, like over 100. So we should be good anyway. Let's go make the animal feed and then we can feed our chickens. We just made up 10 animal feed there, which would have cost us 210 coins. We spent 120 plus the 50s. So we spent 170. So we saved a little bit of money. Not a lot in it, but over time it will get better. So now let's put that in there. That is 33% now full. Oh, it went down to 30 immediately. Okay, they were all hungry. <laughs> they've, they've all eaten now, I guess. Now, I don't know at what rate we're going to use that up. I'll just keep checking it each day and we'll see. I'm guessing it's like a each day so much is gone. So, yeah, we'll keep an eye on that. Uh, I'm sure people will let me know in the comments too. But, yeah, this is a bit more of that experimenting that I alluded to before. Also, I'm thinking these uh, hens and chickens, they need some names, right? It's a shame that you can't actually rename them in the game. But just for fun, 
we can have them named. So if you want to suggest names for the hens or the rooster, or the chicks, whatever, let me know down in the comments and we'll name them in the next episode. Now it's getting a little dark, but I think building a kitchen would be a good idea. So what I'll do, if I go to the uh, buildings, production, we got over here, kitchen number one. It is quite a small building, so we should place it down over here. I think it will have some uses for us. Obviously it does increase our tax every time we build a building, but not by too much at this stage of the game. I think we should be all right with that. And what I'm trying to do is figure out what it is I'm going to do with my wheat. Now, I'm not sure, but I'm hoping that the hens will just lay eggs each day. So then tomorrow morning we can go into the hen house and just pick up a load of eggs. Because I've seen in the past that eggs are used in so many of the recipes for food and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do now, it's getting towards night time. I'm going to get all the rot out of here and turn it into fertilizer. Because that's something we're going to need a lot of anyway. And then we can do a lot of fertilizing over here. And we can plant some carrots. Carrots, I think, are the only thing you can plant during winter. And we want to make the most of this farm whenever we can. The other thing I'll do if I get more nighttime is make up some extra firewood. In terms of our town management, if we go to the resources here, uh, we've got 69. Hey, 69. You just have to get excited about that number, don't you? <laughs> anyway, so that's what we've got left right now. But I think we probably could do with a little bit more than that. I don't think it'd be a bad idea. So what I'm going to do is make up a load more firewood and stuff like that through the night and then do some other things during the day like I usually do. Just very quickly, I noticed something about the honeycomb that I wanted to bring up to you guys. You actually use 50% less stamina consumption, and it adds 5 kilograms of weight, I guess, for the duration of that food being uh, effective, which says down here, you know, 60 seconds. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, that, that's very, very cool. I can see that being really useful like when you're out hunting or something like that. So that's pretty special food. I don't want to put that in the general town storage and have my, my pesky... Peasants eating it. Oh no, this is this is being saved for King Kaizen up in here. <laughs> so we're going to keep that for ourselves for now. It gives me even more reason to want to get into making honey. But I think just in general, in games, uh, I don't know if this is strange, but I, I quite like getting into honey production. I just I think I just like bees. Let's, let's be honest, bees are awesome. Anyway, it's still night time, so I'm going to get some more stuff done off camera. But I just wanted to mention that as I'd noticed it. Hopefully you'll forgive me a little bit of darkness because I want to do something through the night. And I think I've actually found something good to do with our wheat. So if we come over to this chest right here, you can see right now we've got almost 900 of the wheat. So let's put all that in there. And we're a bit overburdened, but that's fine. So we're only going to here. If we go to the threshing floor, what I find here is that from just seven wheat, you get back 10 wheat grain and you get seven straw. Now, the cool thing about this is if we go down to the bottom here, you see wheat grain there, it's valued there at five, as is wheat. But we can turn seven wheat into 10 wheat grain. So then we're actually getting more, like 30% extra, and then we can go and sell that. And that doesn't even take into account the fact that we can have the straw, which though it's not really worth anything, is going to be useful for us in terms of building. Now, this is going to take about 15 minutes, I think, to do all of it if we do this whole thing, because we've got almost 900. So I'm going to go ahead and get the process going. Unfortunately, it's going to take us not just through like today, but through... Oh, wait, hold on, 125. Is that maybe the max, the max we can do? Or, oh, I guess because it's seven at a time. Oh, that makes a lot more sense. Okay, it's not 50 minutes, that's great. Anyway, let me go ahead and uh, thresh all this stuff up, and then we'll see what we're left with. So with all that done, we actually can't move now because we've got so much stuff on us. But as you can see down here, the wheat grain, we've got 1,260 wheat grain. The price is five. I think we get about 50% for that at the shop. That's a lot of money, guys, especially for this stage of the game. That really is a lot of money. And on top of that, almost 900 straw, which is going to be super useful as we're building this town. And what I do need to do is throw a lot of stuff on the floor here so we can actually move. So let's see, we've got that straw gone. We can put this stuff back in the chest. So all of the wheat grain stuff is going to live in here, and then we'll take it to market later. So yeah, pretty awesome uh, way of making money. I don't know that I'll do wheat again in the new year, though. I think maybe we'll try some different crops out. Mostly just so it's a bit different and a bit of fun. Uh, and this is all ready for the carrots right now. We've got the rye in here. I want to get flax. I want to get oats. So we're going to do like a variety of things and just, you know, experience the game. But it does seem like a decent way of making money early on to make a big farm like I did and then just make a load of wheat grain. It's not quite morning yet, but I do think we have enough light to get started on this build and the time-lapse build of the kitchen. And then we're going to have a look at what we can do with that. Now, I realize I've now turned everything into wheat grain, but I think some of that is still used in recipes. And uh, even if we don't need the kitchen like just now, then we'll need it soon. And it's just like a good development through the game to build one of those. We're going to need to at some point anyway. So once again, we'll do a little time lapse of this build and uh, then we'll come back in when it's done. And hopefully it'll be just about time to go to market and sell all of our stuff. When you're not here, life is insufferable. Don't be a stranger, even though we said boss. Darling, I fear, boss is impossible. Well, the kitchen is now complete, and here it is in all its glory. It is another nice-looking building, albeit a small one, and you've got a few things going on in here, as you can see. Nice little spice racks and shelving and stuff like that. 
Um, wish we could take these carrots, actually. We could go and plant some of those, but there we go. Uh, so we've got a cauldron here. We've also got an oven here, and we've got the stone grate here as well. So on the stone grate, we can craft up all of our roasted meats and fish and stuff like that. And then the cauldron, that's all the same as what you got in your house, right? So just the usual recipes, the soups, and whatever else that you have. The oven, however, does provide some different things. Breads, pie, and tarts. So if you go to bread, for example, the most simple one just down here is a flatbread that you can make just using flour and a bucket of water. Now, we don't have enough technology. You can see there, production right now, 79 out of 1,500. So we're a long way off this actually being a thing. Um, but, you know, as the game develops, we'll be able to do these things and make up some much better food. In terms of pies, we're still quite a long way off those as well. 10,000 for the pies and the tarts, uh, they're also at 10,000. So this is something that's going to be more late game, but it's not a bad idea to have the kitchen for this other stuff that we can use. Also, it's a place where we can store stuff. We can store 200 kilos worth of storage in there. So not too bad at all. So obviously production is just about crafting and cooking. The more that we do, the more that builds up. And then we can start using things in the kitchen and making up things like the flatbread which we can either eat or sell for money. Right now though, it is just about morning time and what I'm gonna do is get my uh, wheat grain to go and sell and let's see how much we're able to get out of this. Now, I wonder if I can take it in two trips if we do like roughly half of it. Uh, oh, actually, yeah, it's not too heavy. Wait, can we take it all in one trip? Uh, we can. Okay, so it was the straw that was weighing us down before, not the wheat grain. That's actually another really good thing then, a really big bonus about this, is you can take vast quantities with you to market at one time without even being encumbered. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, head over that way. It might be a little bit early. I'll find some things to do. And we're going to sell that. Uh, let's have a little wash in the river while we're here too and have some water because we need to do that. We're dirty and we're thirsty. So let's do that. The other thing I want to do actually is eat some food here and try and eat up some of this food that's starting to go to 50%. In my food storage in the village, we've actually got a lot of food that's starting to go off a bit or starting to spoil. We'll not be at the 100%. And I think we might have more than we're going to be able to eat. So I might have to sell a lot of that stuff too. Uh, not that it's a bad thing, it's a good way to get money and all part of what the hunting does uh, in terms of giving you money. But let's see what we can get for this wheat, wheat grain and whether we can sell that just yet or if we have to wait a bit. Okay, so up to the first trader here, she's got 1,415 coins, so let's go here and sell as much as we can. And we've taken everything off her. She has no money now for the rest of the day, <laughs> but I don't mind that. We got our coins, and that's just half of the wheat. This is so, so good. We're making so much money here. So off to another trader now. He's got 1,300 on him. Let's see how much all of this is. Still can't quite sell everything, but we got that 1,300. So we are, I feel so rich right now. I'm absolutely baller at this stage. And off to what will probably be our final trader for selling stuff. We sell the final 179 of those. So that's good. That's gone. And is there anything else I want to sell on me? Uh, this mead right here, for example. Let's go ahead and sell that. I think that might be it for now. So that was absolutely fantastic, guys. In total now, you can see here, we've got coins there, 3,300 coins almost, right? We're almost at that. That's a heck of a lot of money. And I'm wondering now whether there's more stuff we could get into. Like maybe we should look to build up a, a pig sty. That could be kind of fun. And uh, perhaps we could afford the pigs. So let me go and see how much pigs are and where we get them from and uh, have a look at whether or not we can build the pigsty. So I just spoke to this gentleman here, Gorzad. No, wait, Garazd? Yep, that's him, Garazd. And uh, he told me that I need to go to Klonica. So Klonica is all the way up here. And that's where we need to go if we want to buy pigs. So I'm in two minds about doing it. It is quite a long journey to get there and back. Uh, I'm not sure if we could even do that in one day. Like if we double left click that, oh, we have 900 meters. Actually, it's about 700 to Skalki. So it's, it's about the same. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go get some pigs. Why not? It'll be kind of fun. I almost made a pretty silly mistake. Oh, look, the chickens are coming out for the morning. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Out they come. Have they had any food yet today? Let's have a look here. Still at 30%. Maybe uh, towards the end of the day, they'll eat. But yeah, the mistake I nearly made was not building the pigsty before we go. So, oh, this looks like a really cool building, actually, doesn't it? Yeah, this is nice. Now, I wonder whether we should put it like this end of the farm. So we could have like a bit of a farmyard area. The chickens are in there. Yeah, let me figure this out. So I think if I put the pigsty about here, that could be pretty cool. And then we've got the chickens here, the pigs there. We could do some more animals down here later. And then they've got the farm to roam around on. It's kind of nice to have it all in the one area there. Okay, I had to interrupt this time lapse, or maybe I'll just do the time lapse after. I can't build this right now because there's obstacles in the way. Those obstacles is this dude right here. <laughs> this little chick right here is preventing me from building. I didn't know that was a thing, but this is awesome. Look how slow it walks. Come on. I need, I need you to move out of the way so I can build my pigsty, please. Okay, she's just about getting there. That that's just hilarious though. I had to I had to like film that and show you guys that. Right, is this person is this chick out of the way? Yeah, she is. Okay, that's great. Let's go finish this build, but that was too good not to share. My 
my goodness, Kaizen, you need to clean this room. It's like a pigsty in here. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm actually not sorry. That was quite good. Uh, anyway, we <laughs> have yeah, a pigsty, guys. Um, it's it's a modest building, you know. It's a it's a hut with a roof that pigs are going to live in. Uh, that is all I want to say about that. Um, partly because there is literally nothing else to say about it, and partly because I want to quickly get to Quanica. Wait, Quanica? Clonica, I think is the one. Uh, and the reason for that is because we need to go and buy the pigs. And I realise I've got all my stuff on me that I need to drop in storage first. But I'm a little bit conscious of getting there and back before it gets too dark. Uh, because of things like wolves and stuff like that, right? So we'll go to uh, Clonica. Keep wanting to call it the wrong thing. We'll head there now and get those pigs bought. So here we are, guys. The start of Clonica. A new town for us to have visited today. In fact, we've technically gone to two new towns today. But I've had a look at uh, Skalky myself in the past. Uh, this one here, I haven't. This is all brand new to me. And so far, it looks quite nice. But we're really here for one thing only, and that is the pigs. So let's run around until we can find them. So I found these guys a little tricky to find, but here they are, guys. They're actually uh, not as difficult to find as what I thought. If you go down the main street in Conica, so that's where we came in there, just on the left-hand side here is where they are. So once again, if I get nice and close and open up the map, then uh, I'll zoom in and show you exactly where they are if you're trying to find them. There you go, you can pause it there, but that, that's where they are. Uh, so let's see the prices. We've got here... Uh, let's see, 675 for a female uh, pig. Is there any big male pigs as well? So we get, oh, hey, dude, are you, yeah, 675 for each of them. Um, or we can go for baby pigs right there, piglets that are 195 each. Hmm, okay, what do we want to do here? I think we're going to go for the babies. So let's buy a little piglet here. We've got a male and a female piglet. And eventually they'll grow up and they'll be adults, and that's the way we're going to do it. Save ourselves some money. It seems to be the better way to do it early on in the game. I know we have a lot of money but I also don't know what I want to spend it on yet or what I might need it for. So I'm just trying to be sensible and do things the right way. Now, I'm tempted to get the horse and cart back home. I just can't remember exactly what the cost is. So oh, I guess we actually speak to the dude, not the horse. <laughs> he doesn't uh, He doesn't understand where we want to go. So if I said I need a ride, PS Dovi is 160 coins. It's, it's not too bad, actually. I don't know if that's been made cheaper. I've, I, in my head, I had 500 um it's not too bad but i'm also thinking it is quite bright early game we should probably save our money and run home do you guys use that a lot or uh, do you tend to run let me know in the comments i just did about five seconds of recording before i realized that my uh recording wasn't on but basically i found this on the way home guys so i'll show you on the map right here this is where we are in this swampy area right here if i zoom out a bit you can see on the road between clonica and piastovia i just looked across and saw this so this is what we've got going on I looted in here already, and we got ourselves, uh, let's see, a bow, the recurve bow right there, which is only on 1.4%, but we got it. The poison arrows, we got some poison as well. So let's see, uh, oh, there's the poison that we took. Uh, took with us, not not obviously actually took it. Uh, but let's see what else is, is in here, if there's anything of interest worth looting. How do we get in this one in here? Okay, we got uh, 15 coins. That is 15 more than we would have had. A nice copper axe right there. Um, is that it for in here? I think it could well be. And I'm just trying to have a good look around everywhere else in this area right now because, uh, as I say, it's so easy to, to miss things. But it looks like that might be it. Just a couple of houses there with a little bit of loot in. Nothing overly exciting, but uh, every little helps, that's for sure. And is that more derelict houses up there? Let's go have a look. It looks like it might be. There is a house over there on our right, but that is not derelict. Someone's living in there. And uh, if we took from them, that would just be uh, stealing. Not uh, Not a good idea. Don't want our dynasty reputation to go down. Uh, but let's have a look over here. Let's go to this next one. Oh, and there's this on the way to an upturned cart right here. Usually there's stuff around these, but on this occasion, I don't actually think there is. Looks like maybe there isn't. Okay, that is one giant moose right there. I'm glad these things don't attack you because I think uh, we'd come off uh, second best to say the least. How, how do I actually get in there? Yeah, he's run away from me. That's how, that's how beefy I am. Uh, okay, what have we got here? We've got berry wine. That's always good. We got a bag. I mean, we'll take it. Uh, some boots. Oh, wow. Could have done with finding them before I bought them for winter. But maybe they're worth some money to us, and so maybe they'll be useful. Uh, looks like that might be it. Oh, no. We can take these poison arrows out of this corpse. Uh, I don't think he needs them anymore. And the copper knife. Well, it didn't do you much good, mate. So uh, I don't think you'll mind us having that one, will you? Back outside now. We've got this little building right here. Just wonder if there's anything in here we can get to, uh, potentially. There's a chest right there. How do we get in there? Oh, there's a door around here. That's very convenient. Oh, I need to crouch, but now we're in. And, oh, it's really making me fight. There might be something decent in here. Uh, bronze knife worth 200. I, I quite like that. A load of buckets, never a bad thing. And more straw to go with the 1,000 we already have. 
But hey, you never know. We might actually need it at some point. Feels like there's probably more around here I could explore. Um, it looks like there's like a whole town here that's basically just not here anymore. And uh, there could be a lot to loot. But I am concerned about it getting dark and out here there could be wolves and things. So I think we'll cut our losses. Let's get back to the main path and more importantly, get back to our town before it turns nighttime. Because uh, dying in this game is something we really want to avoid if we can, of course. Okay, let's say we could buy a bit of animal feed uh, or even the other stuff that we need here, the, the different grains. So let's have a look there. Once again, I'm going to buy 10 of the rye grain and 10 of the oat grain. And hopefully we can give that to the pigs. So the chickens have been introducing themselves to their new neighbors, the piglets, which are... Uh, wait, are they dead? Um, <laughs> they're not. They, they're, oh, hello. I just kicked. Wait. Oh, sorry. I don't mean to kick you, man. Uh, but you're 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 alive. <laughs> I just kicked him twice. Oh dear. Um. Yeah, that's a little bit worrying. Uh. But they are they are they are alive. I think. Let, let's quickly make them up some animal feed so that hopefully they don't die. Okay. So let's chuck some feed down in their trough right there. Fill that one up. See what percentage that goes to. Uh, thirty three again. I thought so because we made ten once again. And uh, talking of the animal feed, if we go to the chickens here. That's still at 30, so I guess the 3% they used is like the previous day or something. I'm not sure. I'll check on that again tomorrow morning. You see it's getting uh, dark here again now, and we'll see what the difference is. Here we are the following morning, and all the animals are out and about, actually. <laughs> cock a doo, doo again. It's the morning time, and uh, the little chicks are so cute. Look at those. But I wanted to check a few things out here. Oh, oh, look at this. Oh, we have stuff already. Okay, let's collect from this nest. We got one egg, and we got one feather from there. Uh, looks like there's another feather right there. Um, is that it? We'll check everything here. Yeah, I mean, one egg a day does seem kind of slow, though, if that's what it is. This is what I wanted to check, by the way. Trough there, 30% still. So they haven't used any more food just yet. I don't know how often they use that. I just want to check here, but I don't think there is anything else to pick up. So a little bit slow. There's another feather right there. Uh, oh, and another egg right there as well. Oh, okay, maybe, maybe now it's going to start happening a bit quicker. We'll check back in on this in the next episode. And what about the pig star? I mean, do they... I don't think they even provide anything just yet. They're not adults or anything, so I think uh, nothing's going to happen there. Still, though, they do look awesome. You can see the little piglet and the chicken are just making friends there in the background. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Guys, this series has been so well received. I just want to say such a huge thank you to everybody for all your support and comments and all that sort of stuff. And I'm really enjoying the series, so I'm glad that you guys are too. I can't wait to make the next episode. And I look forward to seeing you there. But for now, if you're enjoying it, please do consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one.